story of ROM back. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how to install this ROM uh, because a lot of you asked me. So go ahead and power off your phone and of course you have to have a rooted phone. Also if you have AT&T or Verizon on the latest KitKat and you're using SafeStrap or something you can't install this. There's just no way uh, because your bootloader is locked. But if you have an older S3 that you rooted installs clock mode or torp recovery you're good to go. All right, so go ahead and hold down volume down, or volume up, sorry, center home and the power in that order and hold them down all together. Uh, go ahead and let go of the power button. Keep holding down the volume up and the center home. And the only thing we're gonna really do different from my universal guide, uh, when you install CM12 ROMs or any AOSP ROMs, you wanna really format the system that really cleans out everything and allows you to boot the first time. So with Clockmar Recovery, just go to mounts and storage and go to format system. All right, this will uh, flat format your system partition. This is not your internal storage. Uh, your, your files will still be there. Go back and do a wipe data factory reset. All right, and the rest is the same. Just go ahead and install the ROM. Uh, go to choose it from SD card. Go to my download folder, find, find the CM12. Uh, so for this GTI 9300, it's a Temasek CM12. Go ahead and install that. Install uh, Lollipop G apps. Don't forget that. And I'm not going to answer anymore. Last time I showed in the video, somebody asked me, Oh, why is the Play Store missing? You know, it's just like people just, you know, I guess people are busy and just, it's like people drive fast and then they don't see the stop sign, you know. Um, but uh, do install G apps. Otherwise, you won't get Play Store. And if you ask me, I'm not going <laughs> to. Okay, I'll still answer you guys. Um, there's, there's always noobs out there. And when this is done, go ahead and install uh, Lollipop GS and reboot. Now, if you do, don't do the format system, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. So half the time, it might not boot. So that's why I changed all my ROM installation instructions to include format system. And, you know, that doesn't do anything. You're going to erase data anyways. Um, so... That's pretty much it. And I'll be back when this is done. All right, it's finally done. That actually took like five minutes. That was like the longest ever. Uh, anyway, go ahead and install G apps. All right, and you should be done. This should take not that long. Oops. Make sure you use Lollipop G apps. If you use KitKat G apps, it's not going to work. Of course not. Um, and when this is done, we're going to reboot. Reboot should take quite a while, actually. With uh, Lollipop, the first time it boots, it takes a while. But after that, it's fast. All right, so it's going to install GApps and go back, reboot system now, and that's it. Uh, hit no if it asks you for root. Uh, the root, let me go ahead and show you while it's booting here. Um, you do have to enable root for CM12. To enable root, go to settings, go to about phone, go to uh, build number here number here hit it until it says uh, you have enabled development settings go into developer options go down to root access set it for apps and ADB hit OK and that's it and all of your apps rooted apps will be able to run and this is great you can always turn off root access for example you do some banking and stuff you can just turn it off turn it back on turn it off you don't have to use like apps like root cloak and stuff also, Lollipop, I think uh, expose modules are not compatible with Lollipop. Um, so if you if you absolutely need some of the uh, exposed modules, and I know some of you live by it, go ahead and try uh, KitKat ROM. You know you don't have to go to Lollipop yet. Just wait until expose uh, installer developers actually upgrade that. And here's a nice CM12 logo. And the first boot should take about five minutes, so I'm gonna actually fast forward this, and I will be back. Once you see the welcome screen, um, you are good to go. That's how you install it.